up guys, Little Rice Muncher Gaming here. Today's gonna be a really exciting day. We're gonna be unboxing the Razer Blade 14. This is a laptop that I've been wanting to get for quite some time now. I've been wanting to do a little bit more advanced video editing and streaming and a little bit of PC gaming. But I've kind of been held back a little bit with my Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro. It's kind of limited in what it can do because it has an Ultrabook processor and it does not have a graphics card. Back to the Razer Blade. Here's a snapshot of some of the main specs and configurations. The laptop is absolutely stacked and can handle everything that I'm looking to do with it. The base model starts about 1900 with a 256 gigabyte solid state drive and full HD display. While the max out configuration is about 2800, that one has a 4K display and one terabyte of solid state storage. The model that I have here has a 512 gigabyte solid state drive and full HD display. I got it at Best Buy for about $21.65 after tax and student discount. Now I don't want to keep any of us waiting so let's go ahead and unbox this. This box is quite large. I believe the laptop is double box and this would be the outer box. Here is the first major flap. Let's go ahead and open that up. All right. Let's wrap that down. All right, flip this open. So here is the inner box. It has a Razer logo here in the middle. That's pretty neat. It looks like it's protected really well. I got foam padding on all four corners. I am glad that Razer is making sure their product comes to us in pristine condition. As you see here, we got a little line from Razer. Welcome to the call of Razer. Um, thank you. So let's go ahead and remove this. You'll see this, uh, this green Razer these razor green trim here along the edges of the box. Uh, the box does look pretty nice. It kind of has a carbon uh, carbon fiber look to it. Um, so the box is pretty neat. I'm definitely going to hang on to that. I'm going to hang on to both, both boxes really. And then here's a look at the bottom. No logo on the bottom, but uh, it's still pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take this lid off. You see here on the inside we got another foam panel. That's nice because it looks like the laptop is uh, right under that panel. So here it is. It's wrapped in plastic. I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side for now and see what else we have in the box. Alright, so here on the left we have a power brick for the charging cable. Let's go ahead and open this up. So here is one of the pieces, the AC power cord. And here is the other end that actually connects to the laptop. So you just plug in the AC power cord right here. And I would say this is pretty slim. It does kind of remind me of your typical um, power brick that a lot of people carry around to charge their cell phones and their tablets and whatnot. Another Razer logo here, that's pretty cool. It's kind of etched into there. That's pretty neat. But just another uh, power adapter. I do have to point out that this is 165 watt. So finding a portable battery pack to charge this um, laptop is going to be a little bit more expensive and uh, hard to find. Also, I just noticed this, but if you see the cord, it has a nylon braided finish. I don't know if that has to do with um, heat reasons, but it does look pretty nice. Hopefully it's as durable as your typical laptop cord. So there's that. And then over here we have a little mini box. I'm assuming these are the inserts. So you see here, razorzone.com. Um, Razor logo on the front. And then again, welcome to the cult of Razer. So, first thing here, we got some shiny stickers. Ooh, shiny. I'm not a big fan of logos, so probably not gonna stick down anything. And then you have a blade microfiber cloth wrapped in plastic. Ooh. This is definitely gonna be a much needed accessory. Uh, I've been told that this laptop is beautiful, but it is quite the fingerprint magnet. So I'm gonna flip this over. Here is an insert from the co-founder and CEO. Congratulations, there's no turning back. Um, I hope that's the case. I really hope I like this. So the next thing here is the information guide. I'll just flip through that a little bit. So it does have some color in there. That's pretty neat. It's not just black and white. And then we got another language here. Thank you for choosing a Razer system. So, all right, for gamers, by gamers. So that's cool. And then another insert for the regulatory and compliance information. So here's the inside and then here's the other side. And as far as I can see, I believe that's it. So this is plastic that comes out uh, of the box here. We have some more foam inserts. 
um, a little bit of adhesive tape right here, a little bit of adhesive tape right there. And that's it. So nothing else here on the bottom. So last but not least, we have the actual laptop. I think a lot of people would agree that this laptop is quite pricey when you look at the specs. It has an NVIDIA 1060 graphics card and what seems like a small amount of solid state drive given the price. There's really not, not that much that I can say to refute that, especially uh, given the fact that I haven't actually owned the laptop or um, mess with it outside the store. But as you see already, I put some fingerprints on there. Let me just go ahead and say some of my first impressions taken out of the box. Uh, it is a little heavy. It does feel like a premium product. It looks absolutely beautiful to me. The logo here uh, is a little glossy. It's a little shiny. You can't see it that well in the video. It has a little bit of sheen on the exterior. Kind of looks like a little matte black finish. And here's the back. You, see, you have some uh, a long rubber nub here uh, towards the back of the laptop and another uh, towards the uh, towards the front. So it's going to stand um, on these nubs and help the fans ventilate up here. Um, it has two fans, um, which a lot of people are going to say that's not adequate for a laptop with this kind of power. But you do have to make some compromises somewhere um, to get a laptop this powerful at this size. I think that most users, including myself, that purchase this laptop are doing it for productivity and portability reasons. You can pretty much one hand open this up. That's pretty cool. There's no flex. It's a really sturdy display. There are no compromises as far as the body goes. The keyboard feels great to me. Um, there's enough travel. It is thin compared to other laptops. Again, you got to compromise somewhere to get into the small form factor. Let's go ahead and see if we can turn this on. All right. So there it is. The first time I'm booting this up. Got the Razer logo right there. And we got the colored keys already coming into play. So, so far so good. I haven't noticed any backlight bleed. A lot of users talk about how uh, there's some bleed here on the edges of the screen. It's IPS display, it's full HD. It has a matte screen. It's 1080. Some people want to get that 4K model, but at, at this point, I feel like that's kind of a little bit excessive for this uh, size is a 14 inch screen and also you're not going to be able to push many games um, at that resolution on high setting so uh, This is more than adequate for me I'm just going to be doing a little bit of gaming and some video editing and from what I understand as far as the quality of screen goes The full HD panel is a, a little bit better uh, than the 4k panel as far as uh, color accuracy and sharpness and contrast goes. So it is taking a little bit to get ready. So let's go ahead and talk about a few other things. I'm still going to school right now. And uh, one of the reasons why I got this laptop is because it is something that I can easily lug around uh, and carry with me to class. One of the cheaper popular alternatives to this laptop is the MSI GS63 VR Stealth Pro laptop. I really had to justify paying a premium for this razor blade. So I definitely looked at the MSI Stealth Pro quite a bit. And for me, Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. No Cortana. I'll sign in here. I touch a Wi-Fi there. Do it! No! Make God! your dreams Please, no! come true! No! Just no! Do it! No! You can use your voice or the oh, keyboard God. along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. Oh, please. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this setup process. Two hours later. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the keyboard here. One of the main features of this laptop is the keyboard. You can change the settings on each individual key as opposed to other gaming laptops. You can only change the colors of certain regions of the keyboard layout. I like the, I like the feel uh, of the keys. It has a little bit of travel has some good tactile feedback. It doesn't feel too too squishy, too mushy for me. And as far as the trackpad goes, it feels really nice. It does feel kind of like that MacBook Pro glass feel. I don't know if it's actually made of glass, but it feels like it. It doesn't feel like a cheap plastic. I know some people don't care for the click buttons, but I do. They are a little bit skinnier than most, but I'm pretty sure that's something that I'll be able to get used to. So you have speakers here on either side. Um, I haven't gotten to listen to them yet. So far, so good. I'm I'm digging what I see. You may not be able to see this, but but there is a light illuminating the Razer logo right here, and it looks pretty nice. It doesn't look too obnoxious. It's not uh, something I'd be concerned about taking into the classroom. But I definitely do see people asking me about this. Obviously, it's like three snakes right there. But I still think it's pretty cool. All right. So back to what I was saying. I really had to justify paying a premium for the Razer Blade. For me, the final factor was the build quality. I don't want anyone to flame me for my opinion, but I feel like the MSI Stealth Pro was sturdy for the most part. 
but it was still a little bit too flimsy for my liking. I've had a Yoga 2 Pro for about three years now and it's still going strong. And I attribute a lot of that to the build quality of the laptop. A lot of critics refer to the Brazer Blade as a black MacBook Pro for Windows and PC gaming. And I can definitely say that this laptop looks and feels that part. All right, so from what I've read, the main complaints about the Razer Blade are its pricing, fan noise, and heat issues. At this point, I still feel like the Razer Blade is a good buy given the specs, the build quality, and a few extras. Um, I can't say enough about the build quality. It feels really, really sturdy in the hands. There is absolutely no flex to the laptop. It's beautiful. It definitely does rival the MacBook as far as build quality um, and looks go. I'll be sure to make another video with my first impressions and we'll see if there's any credibility to the heat and fan issues. In the meantime, if you guys enjoyed the video, please support our channel by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. I'm going to go eat some rice. To attack! <laughs> to attack! <laughs>